Well, the temperature's dropped. Now I saw these two rigs, little dots on the horizon, yesterday when I was at Wemis. And I pulled in at 11 to have my lunch. And I could see the horizon disappearing because it's raining out there and it's actually raining here, hence I've got the hat on. That and the fact my hair is a right mess. And I'm just fascinated by them. I don't know if they are working rigs, if they are sitting there waiting to be towed into port to have work done on them. But I've got in my head a minimal image using the 17, 70 to 200 long exposure. The horizon is perfect. All it needs is a grad filter on that. You just see, and the sky will be roughly the same exposure as the water. What I need is this pig in rain to stop. The tide's coming in, so I'm getting more and more limited as the minutes tick by. And the rain is supposed to ease about three o'clock, but if the rain eases, then that cloud bank is gonna lift, or that mist bank is gonna lift, and I'm gonna lose the separation between the rigs and the horizon. Uh, there's mountains and I'm not sure if it's burnt as land over there. I say I've kitted myself up in my wet weather gear except my trousers. Yes, my trousers are still lightweight, but it's, it's relatively warm. It's about 16 degrees. I think I'm going to get beaten by the rain. I mean, one of them could even be one of the, ho I think they're hotel rigs, where the guys stay in between their shifts. I don't know. I've seen a tugboat out there this morning, but I've searched and searched and searched on the web and I can't find any information about them. But apparently they are quite common visitors to the Firth of Forth, loads of oil rigs as they're waiting to be deployed. And it's all a learning curve for me. I thought oil rigs went out into the ocean, anchored down and that's it, off they went and they stayed there until they ran out of oil. Apparently not. Apparently they're towed semi-submersible and they're towed to where they need to be and it changes frequently. Right, I'm going to stop talking because the rain's coming down heavier and take a wander back I think, see if I can sit this rain out. I wandered along to the far end of the beach and battled with the raindrops, fired off an image, about a 45 second exposure with the 10 stop on, which was just too long. Everything had gone really murky. And because of the rain, there is, it sounds ridiculous. Earlier on, the rigs themselves were standing out quite nicely and there was a bit of sea haze or sea mist behind them which allowed for some separation. Now we've got the rain coming down, the rain's kind of in front of them, so they're kind of almost blending into the background. So I called it a day. I can see that the image I believe will work, but what I need is to get a clearer shot of that rig. It's the yellow one that's fascinating me because the water's gray, the sky is gray. I think the yellow will pop really nicely. I just need it to stop blooming raining long enough to actually do something. And it, it's just a, a fruitless exercise of doing battle with filters, just no point at all. So allegedly, it's going to stop raining in about 40 minutes. Yeah, about 40 minutes, about four o'clock. Or there is less of a possibility of precipitation. 100% chance of rain up until four o'clock and then it goes to 33%. So if it happens, I'll see you then. If it doesn't, I'll see you at the next location. Well, we seem to have a bit of a theme developing here. As in no light. If we look down in the direction of Rosyth, I think that's the Rosyth docks down there. I can see 
one if not two big ships in there presumably being built or refurbished we've got a band of lighter cloud that the sun just needs to dip below in order to light all this rather nice cloud up now hmm, I'm not convinced but that cloud up there looks positively apocalyptic very strange <laughs> really does look weird my intention is to get a shot of the bridge or my intention was to get a shot of the new fourth bridge without any of the others in the background if I walk just a little bit forward you can see the upright of the other bridge and I don't want that in it however there isn't any foreground which if we get a sky isn't a problem and I have tried a long exposure but there's just no light and we really need light to make this work to light that lot up to put some light on the suspension struts on this Obviously, the sea is going to be smoothed out. <sighs> yeah, it's not going to be startling. It may not even see the light of day. I'm including this little jut of rock because without it, I cut too much of these stays off. And I keep looking at it thinking, the stays here seem to be getting lighter. I think that's just wishful thinking. It is 20 to 8 and sunset is half past 8 so we've still got an hour before the sun dips below that horizon so I'm hoping maybe in the next 10 minutes it drops below that thick goopy bank of cloud and comes out somewhere around there that will put light on that which will bring the image to life the, one, the shots that I've taken are just as, as a test to see if it worked a more boring than a boring thing they didn't work at all but there's potential as long as we get some light on that bridge so I'll be back as Arnie says oh, the suspense is killing me and standing next to the water is not doing me much good either God oh, he's getting there there's some nice light being cast on that bridge and we're getting a little bit on this one that the definition it's becoming more 3d and over that I know I'm spinning around where it's coming down where the Sun's dropping down below the horizon it's shedding some light up here now whether that's gonna stretch this far because actually it really is that blue <coughs> I don't know I've swapped out the 10 stop, that was just taking too long. I've gone for the 6 stop reverse grad because over here, as has been the story all weekend, nice light band, dark band, really not good. And I put the 6 stop in. I actually managed to get a half decent image, where is it? Uh, there. Yeah. So I've never known the sun takes so long to dip down below the blooming clouds. Woohoo! Woohoo! It's finally happening, as you can see from the side of my face. The sun has finally, finally, I've just blinded myself looking at the sun, dropped down below that pesky bank of cloud. And it's shedding some beautiful golden light on this bridge. It's not the most startling composition in the world. It will not win any prizes. And I'm having to be very careful about shielding the side of the lens. And just like that, it's almost disappeared. But I'm liking that. So it's not the best composition in the world, but you work with what you've got. And that light just lifts the bridge out, gives it a three dimensional effect. Oh, thank God for that. Now all I need to see is if we're going to get any colour. And I really think the cloud is too heavy. It's going to go one of two ways. It's either going to explode, like someone set a bum off, or it's just going to fizzle. And I really don't know which yet. 
Let's just have a look. That's more like it. Yeah, so that was 72 seconds, the other one was 68. The lights oh, really should stop looking at the sun. It doesn't do your eyeballs any good. Yes, I'm relatively happy with that. It's like, it's not going to win any awards. And it's getting stronger. So it is. Right. See you in a bit. Didn't expect to be back this soon, but look at that. I'm hoping you can see that. That is fabulous. The, the sky is actually quite blue. And that light, it looks like, the, I've just named it the Golden Gate Bridge. That is wonderful. It's exactly what I wanted. Well, I say exactly. Life could have been better if we'd had some foreground. But hey, hey, you can't have everything. That's amazing. That golden light is just astounding.